What is up guys and girls, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to find lucrative and easy to rank for keywords using WriterZen and then I'll be showing you how to write SEO optimized content using ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're looking for an easy to follow but effective workflow that allows you to find lucrative keywords and leverage AI to write articles that will actually rank on Google, then this is going to be the workflow for you. So first off, I'll be using WriterZen to find my keywords. If you haven't used WriterZen before, it is a suite of keyword and research tools. Essentially, there's a couple of different tools in which we can use. We can use the topic discovery tool, the keyword Word Explorer tool, and then there's also a content creator tool which allows us to optimize our content. So we can find keywords, optimize our keywords within WriterZen, and then we can use ChatGPT to actually write that content. So first, let's go ahead and start off by using their topic discovery tool. The topic discovery tool is really good at giving you ideas for how to structure your website and how to build topical authority. So let's say, for example, I'm in the AI space, but I'm not entirely sure, you know, what type of AI content I want to write about so i can search up ai as my main topic and as you can see here i will be able to get varieties of different types of content related to ai that i can write about so maybe i could write about infrastructure maybe i could write about investments in ai maybe i can write about specific apis that came out that's related to ai or maybe i can write about sentient um, ai i can write about technology i can write about ai and healthcare ai and educational educational sorry i can write maybe about generative ai and as you can see here under these subtopics such as generative we also see the total search volume and we also get some ideas for content in which you can write so not only are you getting ideas you also are getting the content ideas and the blog post ideas in which you can write so this will give you a nice idea of how you can set up your website so maybe ai is going to be your main website but then under ai you talk about investments in ai you talk about maybe um, AI in healthcare, AI in education, then maybe you have another pillar category about generative AI. You can have another pillar section on IoT, which is Internet of Things, governance, and so on. So as you can see here, you get a lot of different content ideas and ways in which you can set up your website to increase your topical authority. So let's say, for example, you wanted to focus on AI in education. So again, I can show ideas here and we can see that this is a search volume of 90,000. So that's a lot of people searching up content around education and AI. So if I hit show ideas, I will be able to get some relevant ideas that I can simply copy over and start writing about. So we see 43 examples of AI and education, strong AI versus weak AI, and so on. So I can add this to a list. So let's create a new list. We're going to add that to our list. So now we can use that as, a, as an example, or we can even use this as a content idea in which we would like to write about. On the right hand side, we also get some Google suggest insights. So this gives us some um, ideas of what people are searching up in relation to this specific topic. So AI like character, AI versus generative AI, and so on. So these again will give us some nice ideas. We can filter between questions, prepositions, and comparisons. So now that we found a content idea, we can refine this by heading over to their keyword explorer tool. So the keyword explorer tool is going to be like every other keyword tool. You can search up a keyword, you can do competitive research, and you can get keyword information based upon that keyword. So since we're tackling AI in education, I'm gonna search up that keyword to see if this is going to be a suitable keyword for us to go after. So in terms of search volume, this is about 6,600, which is pretty decent. Cost per click is kind of high, which means it may be a more competitive keyword. Um, total search volume is 74,000, which is really good. And as you can see here, we have a lot of different keywords in which we can go after. So we have the volume, we have the cost per click, and then we have the word count. And if you wanted to get more information on these specific keywords, you can go ahead and click on whichever keyword you like the best. So AI in education research, AI in education theory. And then what we can do is we can scroll down and head to the golden filter, select all seven keywords. So the keywords in which we selected will now be able to get more information from them. So essentially, um, um, writers then will be able to pull more information such as the all in score and the golden score, which will tell you how competitive these keywords are or how easy it is for you to rank for these keywords. So now we can get some more information here and we see that artificial intelligence in education would be a good keyword for us to go after. So now we can select that keyword and hit create article. So now we can head over to the content editor. The content editor is where we'll be able to optimize our content, where we can add in our LSI keywords 
and optimize your headers and so on. You also have the ability to write article title and description or write the whole article using writer's end. So for fun, let's go ahead and put that on. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and um, write the content using the playground mode. But I just wanted to see what type of information we'll be able to get back from writer's end. So while, while that's loading up, let's go ahead and copy over our keyword and we're going to head over to the playground mode. So this was the full article that we got back from writer's end. As you can see, it's actually a lot better than I thought it would be. It's a little bit short for my liking. Um, right now, it's only about 692 words, but it is a nice start, right? If you don't have much experience using AI writers, then this may give you a nice start and you can go ahead and expand on these sections using ChatGPT or the Playground mode. So as you can see here, there's a couple of things in which we need to do. The overall score is a C. So let's go ahead and create our own article and see if we can get a much better um, much better content score compared to what writers and was able to create. So this was the full article in which we we're able to get back. I used my SEO prompts and my outline prompt, and then I told the AI to generate the full article. Again, if you want to find any of my prompts, they will always be in the description below this video and below every video in which I do. So this is the full article in which we were able to get back here. Um, I told it to expand the article because the first generation was a little bit short for my likings. But this is the full um, article. So let's go ahead and take a look at the word count first. So it's about 1500 words, which is pretty good. Now we're going to get go ahead and convert this into markdown. OK, so as you can see, it's a pretty well written article. Seems to be nice formatted. Um, it would be nice if there was a table and some more um, bullet points in this article, but that's OK. Let's go ahead and copy it over. And so as we can see, we're at a C right now with 662 words. Let's go ahead and remove this and see if we were able to do better using AI. The overall score didn't really change it that much, but we can see here that we have a lot more green. So we have a lot more words, a lot more headings and paragraphs, and we need to add in some images. So let's go ahead and take a look at our keywords. We can see here that there are some keywords in which we can add into this specific um, article. So for example, AI education is something which we can add in. So wherever we see education, we can simply add in AI. And most of the times, as you can see here, that keyword is actually added in, but maybe there's a word in between. So you can just go ahead and remove that word. And as you can see here, that keyword will be there because this is looking for the exact phrase match. While you may have something that is, you know, like that keyword, they want to make sure that you have that exact keyword within your article. And if you want to actually see how these keywords were used, you can click on that keyword and it will show you how your competitors have used that keyword in their article because that's where they're getting that information from. So if we scroll down to competitors, again, you can see the top ranked competitors for that specific keyword. We can see some questions in which you would like to add in. Let's say you wanted to add it in, into your FAQ. We can simply go ahead and add that question, copy it over. It will be copied and we can paste it into this section here. And I forgot to show you guys, but if you actually wanted to go back, you can take a look at the keywords that you want to include and do some more keywords in which you want to include within your specific article. Let's say, for example, you wanted to include AI tool that's not currently included. You can then go ahead and select that keyword. There's also opportunities for different keywords in which you may want to target for that specific um, topic. And then there's suggestions by um, writers. And most of these are already included, so you don't need to include those. You can also head back over to the outline, and this is where you can kind of build your outline. Um, usually it does a pretty good job at selecting the competitors that's most related to your specific um, website, especially if you have a website on Writer's End. But you can go ahead and select or deselect any of the competitors in which you don't want to um, go after. Let's say there's Quora or Reddit and you want to deselect that, you can do so here. So this is where you can kind of edit your word count. You can take a look at your outline and then you can save and set up your keywords. And then you can head back over to content writing. So because I chose to let the AI write the content. That's why it skipped through these parts. But if you actually went ahead and wrote the content yourself, you would be able to write, um, customize each section before you get over to content writing. So as you can see here, we're now at a B and that's because we did some further optimizations and we were able to improve the overall on-page um, optimization of this article. So once you go ahead and just manually include some of these keywords, maybe even add some questions into your article, you can definitely go ahead and increase your overall optimization score using writer's end. But that's the workflow in which you can use to find content ideas and then validate those content ideas 
in the keyword research tool on writer resend take that keyword pop it into the player ground mode additionally what you can do is you can actually go ahead and copy over the keywords that they suggest that you include and include that into the prompt on the player ground mode and that will allow you to make sure that these keywords are being used within your article and then you can follow the prompts and the method that i've showed you to be able to write seo optimized content you may need to do some further manual optimization but once you add in some images and you optimize your content manually you should be able to get a score of a b or higher so i hope that you guys enjoyed today's tutorial if you want to check out writers and for yourself i will leave a link for writers and in the description below today's video if you did enjoy today's video let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already until next time stay well